Your daughter is asking to buy her a certain type of sneakers. You are surprised she never liked this style. She has new shoes and the ones she is asking to get are not made by a better company and not even more expensive. You are asking your child a few questions and everything becomes clear. The most popular girl in her class bought this type of shoes. She is wearing those sneakers. Why should I be worse, says your daughter? Teenagers often want to imitate those they consider to be better than themselves. The reason of course for this is their low self-esteem. The more confident they are in themselves, the less they will desire to copy others. If a girl thinks of herself to be less than her classmate, then to feel equal, she needs to do the same thing as her classmate does. She is wearing those sneakers. Why should I be worse? I thought about this example recently when I was discussing a bat mitzvah ceremony for their daughter with a family from our community. I offered them different options of making a beautiful event, but they wanted the bat mitzvah ceremony to be held like a bar mitzvah for boys, which is with a girl reading from a Torah scroll. There are beautiful rituals for bat mitzvahs for girls, and Torah scrolls are read only on certain days with a number of other limiting conditions. Since girls do not read from a Torah scroll, there are many more options for their bat mitzvah ceremonies. When I asked the parents why are they insisting on their daughter reading from a Torah scroll, they told me the boys do it, why should girls be worse? Bat mitzvah is a celebration of a girl becoming a woman. Is it good for her at this moment to be told that a woman will be worthy only if she imitates men? Maybe this approach is based on a disrespect of the women and disrespect of the woman's role? When teenagers want to mimic others because of lack of the appreciation of who they are, it is sad but understandable. However, when adults look at the world this way, it is strange. Even worse, if this becomes an ideology and we begin to teach our children to look at themselves this way. If a girl always wants to imitate her friends in order not to feel less than them, maybe we need to teach her to appreciate who she is. If a girl always wants to imitate boys in order not to feel less than them, maybe we need to teach her to appreciate who she is, that is, being a woman. The Torah has a number of commandments specifically for men, and a number of commandments specifically for women. In the modern world, there are groups that claim to be fighting for equality among genders. But why doesn't any of this number of groups insist on men performing women's rituals? They only want women to start performing men's rituals and women stopping performing the rituals prescribed for women. By doing so, they tell women, you can be equal to a man only if you leave your rituals and start imitating men. This worldview is not based on equality. This worldview is based on looking down at women and lack of appreciation of women's roles. Traditional Judaism understands that both practical and spiritual roles of men and women are different. It is respecting the positions of each one of them. And therefore, traditional Judaism does not believe that to be equal to men, women should imitate men. Are women second-class citizens 
from the perspective of traditional Judaism? Of course not. And are women second-class citizens from the perspective of those who insist that to be equal, women have to imitate men? Of course, yes.